goodness. Sorry about that. Welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. I've had a busy last few days. Um, my husband and I went to Washington to visit my family and then we picked up my son Jeremiah in Boise. We brought him with us to Boise when we moved out there in January, but he got a job where he had to wait to get the go ahead to work from home. So he finally got that go ahead. So we picked him up and he's been staying at our house about three days and it's been great, but got him a motel and he applied for an apartment in Twin Falls, which is Twin Falls, which is about uh, 15, 20 miles from here and just waiting to get the approval. It's an interesting situation. Um, they look like apartments on the outside, but inside it's shared living. So there's about six bedrooms and the people who rent there get their own bedroom, but it's a shared living room and kitchen and bathroom. So he'll just be renting a room and hopefully he'll make friends. He's gonna be renting there for three months and then he's gonna be looking for, look at the camera. Sorry about that. Anyway, he's going to be um, living in that place for about three months and then he's gonna get his own place. So I think it'll be a great place for him to meet people and make friends and get to know the city. Um, anyway, uh, back to eBay. Um, I did make uh, several sales in the past few weeks. I made a lot after my first video. So if any of you bought from me, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. But sales have been great. And I just want to share with you about four of my really big sales. Well, for me, they're really big. <laughs> and um, so anyway, the first one is I sold this quilt book and I would show you guys these, but Unfortunately, I've already packed them up and shipped them. <laughs> Next time, I think I will show them to you before I ship them. Um, but the picture will be up in the screen and I sold the quilt book for about $37.97. And my profit on that was $27. So I was thrilled because I bought that at a thrift store for like two bucks and flipped it in about a week. The next thing was this Canon ink cartridge. I bought it at the thrift store about a block away for 10 bucks. Sold it for $75 within three days. So my profit on that is $67.39. I was thrilled about that. That was a great sale. And ink cartridges are always good. Um, if you get the right one, I've bought some where they just sit for a while, but if you get the right ones, those were selling from $80 to $100, uh, $70 to $100. So I was thrilled to get $75. Uh, a Mickey Mouse teapot I purchased at thrift store for about three to four bucks, sold it for $23.22, and it was missing the spout. And I just put that in the description and it sold anyway. You know, Mickey Mouse stuff, Disney stuff, that sells. <laughs> Whenever I find things like that, I grab it. And my profit on that was $20.07. And the last thing I wanted to share with you is I bought a USC Trojans cap. Um, this was something my husband picked up when we were thrifting. He's really good at picking out the right caps. There's not something I would pick up on my own, but they are very good sellers. Um, and some are, could be very good sellers. It's, we bought a Just Dawn Michael Jordan cap uh, about a year ago. Sold that for over $100 and maybe paid 4 to $5 for that. So yeah, they're out there. Just look for them. Um, my husband, every time we go to the store, my husband's looking at the caps. So, um, you know, some sell for 10, some sell for 100, you just, and anything in between. <laughs> anyway, we sold that for $21.97 and the profit on that was $17.55. So this is just some uh, sales I wanted to share with you. And after this, I will be showing you the thrifting video um, I filmed a few days ago. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. See you next time. Bye. Okay guys, this is right when you walk in the front door. There's all these bins of free items, which is so cool. See, free stuff. Let's just panning through the thrift store. 
kind of seeing what it looks like. I went and got my cart because I saw that there's going to be a lot I'm going to fill up the cart with. So I saw these sporto boots, found the one. I didn't really know uh, what that was worth, but I thought, hey, it's free. I will look for its mate. That one was kind of messed up, so I put that back. Just had to dig through these. Those were really nice. Um, I picked those up. Those were hardly used at all, like new. Then I dug through some more, see what I could see. I found those cool clogs. Oh, and that's... I found the mate, but I didn't see it right away. <laughs> Those, um, yeah, I had not heard of that brand. Soft spots? But those were in good condition, so I believe I picked them up. I guess we will watch and see. And I found the other one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm blocking the shoes with the one shoe. I didn't even know I was doing that. Okay, and then that's just miscellaneous. I've gone through that bin before. Nothing I wanted. Decided to look at the clothes. Twin Falls, that's local. Don't need that. I look like a, a golf polo shirt. to explore some more. Normally I don't look at clothes too much. I'm trying to get away from that, but these were free, so I thought I'd see what I'd see. Life is good. That's a good brand. Pick that up. Fit of Glory. Yeah, I believe that's Walmart. Left that there. It's kind of a cool... Um, Zip jacket, job fit. I grab that because that's exercise wear and it usually does well. Gildan t-shirt. Go Cougars! <laughs> I believe that's a local shirt as well as this one. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of fun to see those, but of course I left them. Yellow! Oh, basic edition snap. I did pick this up. Um, I washed it now, it's kind of wrinkled, so I need to steam it. But I tend to do well with these vintage dish towels, so I grab that. No boundaries. Yeah, I don't think those sell for much, so I left it. Is that cute? Oh, it's like a little partridge or something. I thought that was adorable. Then that was free. So I grabbed that. Little baby bid. These jeans were cool. Pick those up. And another pair of jeans. American Eagle, grab those. Pretty good brand. Um, kind of hit and miss, but... Oh yeah, I left that. Now this one, I had never heard of before. Floor skin, something like that. Carhartt, I knew that was a good brand. I grabbed that. This one, Knightsbridge, just looked like kind of a cool men's shirt, like a golf shirt or something, so I grabbed that. Okay, this was a shirt by Puritan. I'd looked those up before. They're, you know, anywhere from 10 to $30. I thought free, you know, I'll give it a shot. Foundry, I think I grabbed that because of the pattern. They got Buffalo by David Bitten. I'd never heard of that, but it's kind of plain, so I left it. Little buckaroo, very cute. Just some plain shirts. 
my back was hurting so I was kind of getting bored and <laughs> I needed to move on so next were the men's dress shoes that was Stafford and those were excellent condition that's Tom McCann grab those grab both of those actually these were nice um, yeah streetcar I believe it was grab those all these men's shoes were in great condition and I know I can get 20 to 40 dollars on them each some women's shoes soft style I didn't really know that brand but they were in great condition and there were sandals so I grabbed them Clark's I knew right away that was a great brand they sell for a lot however I never found that shoes mate sadly those shoes were kind of cool um, the ones laying next to the clerks that I'm not filming very well <laughs> anyway I grab those I have to get better about filming grab those too I pretty much grabbed as you can see it's an empty bin I think I grabbed almost all of those shoes and scroll move on down to the books I did grab that book just because I was trying to find books to fill out the bookcase that my husband had just put together and most of our books are in storage in Oregon which we are going to get our things when we move to a house that we buy in about a year. So these are just the various books. I didn't really go through them much, didn't really thrill me. Every time I try to find, uh, sell books on eBay, it seems like somebody's already selling them and you can't get much for it. Birth order book, I thought that was cool. But I would like to learn more about books and find out what rare books sell the best on eBay. So that is something I'm going to research and find. And that's just what they had on the sale. So move over to the baskets. I was looking at those because my cat loves to lay in baskets. So I was looking for one for him. But that one was five bucks, so I put it down. Golf clubs. I haven't really sold golf clubs. Maybe one. So I would like to sell them because I know you get good money but I have no idea what brands are good so I just looked at them and filmed them but I didn't buy any and I was considering getting one of those golf bags but I didn't feel like shipping it this is just like a little section they have more like upscale things This has been here a while and I consider buying it. It's $10 and it is breakable, so I don't feel like dealing with the shipping. That was kind of cool. Just to look at, I'm not gonna buy it. These things are kind of neat. I have enjoyed them. They've been there a while. I might buy them eventually. Holly Hobby, thought that was kind of spendy, 20 bucks on that. I thought that was funny, tractor toilet paper. John Deere tractor toilet paper. And that's just their doll collection. You know, I have a couple of dolls for sale and they're still for sale. They've been in my inventory a few months, so I'm not really excited about dolls anymore. I did sell one recently for about 40 bucks, but it took a few months to sell. It's just the figurines. The clothes. That was a cute little baby vase. More clothes. Yeah, I thought that football vase was cute. Didn't pick it up though. Just the 
little picture section. I've looked through here before and gotten a couple of pictures for my house, pictures for my house. But don't think I bought anything to sell. I like that one, the Godiva Silver, but haven't picked it up yet. Just their furniture section. They've got like clothes and hats and then they've got like pictures, more pictures. I did buy those. Still yet to list them. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys their prices, how great they are. Look at that. Yellow tags, 50 cents. Live. That was a cute little saying. Their prices are kind of all over the place. But generally, they're pretty good. That was a nice dresser. Like mid-century modern. Fortunately, I didn't need it. It's just a picture they had in the cart. I thought that was cute. The Great American Headband. I should go back and pick that up. I really like that, but I don't want to spend $30 for it. Need to more golf clubs. That horse painting was cool. I should go back and get that. This is their miscellaneous area. I should go back and get those boots. I think they're like snow boots, ski boots. Now this is a pet carrier. I saw them. Tempted to get it because I've sold one of those before, but it was $10, so I left it there. It's just their miscellaneous electrical section. I did buy one of those thermoses. It is for sale on eBay for like 30 bucks. 30 or 40. These chairs my husband and I considered getting because we have like a 50s diner table, but they don't match thinking about getting that black chair as an office chair. I thought that was a cool bag. I think they want like seven for it, so I just left it. I might go back and get it though. Just their toy section. I haven't really looked through there much. I thought those doggy pants were cute. Pajama pants. This lamp was really neat. I'm tempted to get it. It's been there a while, but I don't like shipping lamps. You'd have to protect the shade and the bottom. I don't know, I might go back and get it. She, shoes were cool too. I didn't, haven't bought any of these, but they look like new. Yeah, those were neat, the colored shoelaces and stuff. And the irons are with the shoes, woohoo! That was it, guys. See you next time.